So on the screen, you see we've got Mini Grand in here. This is a great sounding grand piano that's included with Pro Tools 8. So we decided to use this to add a little bit of drama. So let's go ahead and roll, Jeff, and see what we've got. Okay, here we go. Oh, ouch. So now, as you can see, I mean, it's kind of dramatic. Are huh? you feeling that? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but it still needs to be enhanced, huh? Now, Mini Grand is a great sounding piano with almost a gigabyte of samples and really good built-in effects. So, Jeff, how do you want to handle this? Let's actually jump in and take a look at Mini Grand from D Command. So I'm actually going to do that. We're going to jump into a custom plugin view. And uh, Mini Grand's got, it's got six different ambience models and seven different um, piano models. So let's just roll through some presets and kind of see where we're at. Let's just hit play here. <laughs> And from there we can tweak further and kind of get the, the blend of ambience that we want. Working for you? Oh yeah, yeah. Nice job on that panel, Jeff. That adds the drama I was looking for. Cool. But, you know, sometimes when you're looking around on your sample library, you don't always find what you want. Sometimes you have to actually go get your hands dirty. And that's exactly what we did. So we've got structure back up on the screen, but here's what we actually found. We wanted to get some, some interesting effects. So first of all, the cello player gave us some, some more little cello tidbits. Listen to this. Ouch. I know, that's, <laughs> uh, that's a little painful, but uh, we'll, get, we'll put that to good use. And also, we needed another kind of an interesting effect. So, in this case, we opened up the piano, put some mics in there, did a little bit of a strum, and you get this. Now, that's a nice prepared piano effect. But I tell you what, let's play it down an octave. Much more menacing down there, right? Put the two together, and you get something like this. I'm just going to hit play. Now that's really cool, but we can enhance that further using some plug-in effects and the icon. So what do you think, Jeff? Okay, so what I'm going to do on my side of the desk is actually control some plugins. Um, and uh, we're going to jump into a custom plugin mode here. First plugin that we're going to look at is um, it's called Futzbox from DSP. This one I love. It basically allows you to take a sound and make it sound like it's coming out of a small speaker. And maybe a PC speaker, an Oratone, an old radio, a tiny cell phone an alarm clock, right? All kinds of neat stuff. So let's listen to that real quick here. Some high roll off, but I want it to be filtered more. So I've actually created a custom map, a custom layout on the faders. I'm going to do a little bit of filtering here too. Oh, nice. It gets a little bit smaller. Okay, so I dig that. We now need to make it a little be more atmospheric to really have kind of some ambience, some reverb. So I'm going to flip over. I'm actually going to bring up a plugin, which is um, it's called Echo Boy from Sound Toys. And what this is, it's a great delay, but we're going to actually kind of use it as a reverb. So let's add a little bit of uh, a little bit of mix and saturation to that. Excellent. Those plugins are really transforming that sound. Let's bring the, the piano back in and see what that sounds like. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and bring in some more of those other sounds, too. There's some dialogue. Yes. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Beautiful. Now that's just a great use of plugins. And using the icon to sculpt it and shape it, you've just created something that's unique. It's just not some sound that's part of some canned library. Absolutely.